Welcome to your UA Light Celestial Insight. Hello, dear Leos, and happy birthday to any of you that will be celebrating at the end of this month. The cosmic spotlight is on you and your big reveals of all the creative things you've been working on behind the scenes for some time. There's so much activity in your sign and in other areas of the skies, putting a spotlight on your beliefs, appearance, fashion choices, your career, collaborative partnerships, money, and social media and other promotional moves. And additionally, on July 17th, we have two big things happening, right? We have a new moon in Cancer and the shift of the lunar nodes into the cardinal signs of Aries and Libra, where they will be until January 2025. So things will shift significantly after this new moon, and they indicate that this could be a time where you are maybe traveling for something significant, announcing and or releasing something significant significant out into the world that will really impact your daily life, success, or fulfillment of a dream in a big way going forward. And it could absolutely quite literally be related to order fulfillments as well. I'm getting commercial ventures uh, for the Le- for the Leo Collective really heavy, right? So um, definitely watch your Venus and Leo, Jupiter and Taurus, and Eclipse season horoscope and tarot forecast messages. They're all linked here on the channel and uh, for deeper strategic, practical, and spiritual insights. And in all of those messages, one thing that stood out was this sort of forewarning, right? For you to pay special attention to your public public, personal, and even professional branding messaging, right? Because they could critically affect your successes, gains, and losses in some way, right? And these messages about this uh, this sort of, I guess, forewarning or uh, message to heed, right? It's coming at a time when the major outer planets are sort of urging everyone to do a big audit in the major areas of their lives to make critical improvements, right? Because Saturn, Pluto, and Neptune are all retrograde. Where for you, it's quite literally related to even an audit of your taxes, contracts, money, and legalities related to investments, accounting, maybe co-worker dynamics, right? But related to creative direction and communications, like I mentioned, with the lunar nodes coming into your houses of communication, social connection, and reach or relatability, this is what this message was coming from, right? This could also be related to business operational logistics, daily life logistics like travel and transportation, ramping up, and also um, this being a critical point in time of how you put your knowledge and skills to use, right? And this aligns with the specific psychic tarot insights for the month as well. So for instance, if you're watching, following along here on YouTube, right? I am getting this big sort of overarching message about a big pivot or maybe even overestimations and a bad investment for some of you. And this scenario where some of you are on the precipice of maybe facing a big fear this month in making a decision about how you move forward with something, right? So for example, for your overall energy, we have the Ace of Pentacles reverse, then the Ace of Wands, and then also this Courage card here in reverse, right? And Courage is related to your sign, right? The Leo sign, right? It's all about strength and courage, right? And facing fears. And then uh, related to the past, we have the Eight of Cups reverse here and the Nine of Pentacles. And so this is all giving me that uh, sort of intel about some sort of pivot. I'm getting some of you having a fear around maybe quitting or retiring from a job or even facing the reality of a uh, failed venture, a bad investment or a failed partnership and how it will affect your finances, right? Or just in general, something not 
shaking out the way that you had expected to, right? And it contributing maybe to some sort of financial loss that was unexpected. I'm also getting a scenario for some of you where there's a fear of failure or uncertainty about the the projections of success or even the financial projections with releasing a new project or a product or just taking action in a new venture or even a new collaboration or just something that you're considering, right? I'm also getting that this could even be like trepidation that happens with that sort of transition from being an apprentice or a student to being like a professional and an entrepreneur in a trade, right? Where, you know, it's that time to like really put your skills to use in the real world, you know, without training wheels, like taking the training wheels off with something. Um, And maybe, you know, just those sort of normal fears about, about whether something will be successful, will this flop, will there be poor sales, right? The ego bruising that can happen with that Um, and just fears about being able to bounce back, right? Um, Definitely comment below. Let me know what applies for you, right? And like this video as well. In terms of the challenge for you this month, we have the King of Pentacles reverse, right? And so I'm just definitely getting a lot about finances here. Um, this could be about losing financial backing and stability from a sort of long standing career or money source, right? Or, or even, um, the a conventional business model just not working right um and like with this whole sort of like second row of cards here i'm getting that message of maybe overestimations or a bad investment someone could have taken you know bad financial or professional advice from someone that was considered you know like a wise expert right um maybe that's something that's showing up here for for the leos right and in terms of like the shift right that is going to be coming in at the month right in the middle of the month um that's where we have this hermit card here right and if you look at these row of cards we have the courage card in reverse and it all really lines up in the color story with the hermit card right under it and the um pantomama card here below it and so in you know I'm getting that with all of these scenarios, right? It's about coming to this sort of crossroad this month where it's like sink or swim, you know, where maybe you're seeking trusted advice about how you move forward and take the leap of faith and, and show yourself or show your skills. Um, and maybe considering how you express or even convey wisdom or your image with confidence, right? Just kind of being at that precipice point. Um, some of you, this is about public speaking. This is about uh, marketing. This is about image, right? Um, for some of you also, um, I'm also getting that this is something about cultural pride and even hair care um, <laughs> um, with the with the imagery, right, of all of the sort of energy around the head, right? Um, and, and headdresses and head wraps and just all of that kind of stuff, right? Being in the hair care industry, let me know. Leos are absolutely associated with hair. Um, so there's that. Um, if you are offering something in a crowded marketplace, this could also be about, you know, how you are trying to stand out, right? What makes what you offer valuable or worth investing in or more attractive than your competitors or something like that? Um, with this as well, I'm getting that for some of you who do do something related to the hair care industry or even um, just any sort of like product development. This is something about product sourcing and development and the pension mama car here showing up as a spiritual lesson a lot of times is about this sort of um, sort of question of like what ways you are giving back to the earth, what ways we're being called to give back to the earth as well, right? And to really um, reconsider intentions and power with something um, and humility as well, right? Um, there's, I'm getting something here about cultural pride and headdresses. Y'all let me know what this is about, but I'm definitely getting that for some of y'all. Um, but 
ultimately, right, with the advice, we have the witch direction card that comes up, right? And so um, this is definitely about, you know, if you've taken bad advice in the past, if you are feeling fearful about what you are about to embark on, um, any last minute um, changes you want to make about the creative direction in something or whatever, there's a message here to trust your instincts, right? Your instincts, right? That is also why this Panchamama card here is decorated and the hermit is appearing. This is about your own wisdom. This is about your own internal wisdom and instincts. And to do something unconventional and to connect with your higher self for guidance, right? No ego or fear of failure because it's really the best way to learn. All right. Um, and so this direction card here reads, it says, you have reached a turning point in your life. Do not be afraid of taking the wrong path. When you recognize the learning to be found at every step and in every moment of your journey, you will realize that there is no wrong way, only the infinite gain of your personal growth and evolution. All right. So that is absolutely why in the outcomes, we have the three of wands reverse and the page of swords reverse because this is about, you know, um, you having to figure out the answer, <laughs> right? This is also about no expectations, right? And how, you know, you won't know the outcome if you don't try, right? And to consider your resources and your gifts and talents, right? In terms of how you go forward, okay? So to wrap up your reading, we are going to read your angel number message that came through here. And the angel number message for you is 1122, all right? So this is a number where we have both the karmic master teacher numbers 11, which is also representative of a huge energy portal for new beginnings, and angel and the master number 22, which is the master builder number, all right? So, um, you know, no coincidences here, okay? It is a powerfully charged number that is about your spiritual path and life purpose and you know dreams made manifest it's about ancient wisdom it's about the future and evolution it's also about your personal power and charisma it's about service it's about philanthropy and it's about common sense and practicality <laughs> and uh, diplomacy okay and so this says to step out of your comfort zone, leave behind the old and outdated and make a concerted effort to steer your life towards a more spiritually based life and lifestyle. I also have to say, this is also this, that specific phrase is coming through here, particularly because you all are a fixed sign and everything from this point forward all of the energies this month right with that full moon with this new moon and the nodes shifting into Aries and Libra this is all cardinal energy this is all that energy about um, not staying in a fixed position right doing things out of your comfort zone and taking initiative and taking risks and how those things pay off right so definitely heed that okay it says find balance in all that you do and ensure that the reality you create for yourself is the one you desire it says release fears and apprehensions and get on with pursuing your passions and purpose. It says stay on a positive path and use your natural skills, talents, and abilities to their utmost for the benefit of yourself and others. Use positive affirmations and visualizations to enhance energies and draw them towards you. The more you focus on the positives, the quicker they are manifested into your reality. All right. This number is a message from your angels and archangels to stay focused upon your highest expectations as angels and universal energies work behind the scenes, helping you manifest your wants, needs, goals, and desires, all right? That is your message for this month. Definitely like this video if you are watching on YouTube. Make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube and the podcast. Share this light and insight with someone that you love, someone who could use it. And make sure that you check out all of the remaining messages here. And I hope that they are an aid 
on your journey. Take good care of your hearts, dear Leos. And best of luck being brave and taking this new step in whatever direction that you choose.